spheres. This is an mountain building that is hidden between all of these skyscrapers. You wander through the city jungle and you encounter this. A building made from glass and steel resembling three connected balls. In there, there is an actual jungle and it fits only one purpose. It's basically a relaxation area slash workplace. So it is meant to be used as a place of inspiration, a place of connection with nature or Amazon employees. Something totally unheard of. I was in deep shock when I saw that. So you go in, you tap with your card and you go up these stairs and you see all of these plants living indoors. It's very humid, very warm and a little bit stuffy. Very green, very nice climate. You have all of this narrow alleys that you can go into and you experience a little bit of jungle in rainy Seattle. A lot of these uh, plants came from different places in the world. So I'm joking here that Jeff is actually building a prototype for first houses on Mars when we finally get there. So Amazon employees can come in here and work, have a cup of coffee, get a break. There is over 40,000 plants in the spheres, giant green walls of plants growing vertical. Everything is covered in, in a mist of water. Everywhere you have a little hiding spots where you can get comfy, hide away, open up your laptop and begin working. A little nest, if you like, nooks and crannies, all of this magical jungle that's living indoors, reserved only for Amazon employees. This is blowing my mind how one company can build a place like this just for its employees to enjoy to have a place to rest think get inspired amazing and unthinkable at the same time and these are the fish from amazon <laughs> from actual amazon in the amazon building here in seattle I decided to visit Amazon Go. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a store that uses artificial intelligence, computer vision, all of the latest technology to give an unprecedented experience of shopping without any queues, without any tills. So all you have to do is install an app on your phone, put your card details in, and scan it on your way in. You don't need any barcodes, you don't need anything. All you do is take the items you want and put it in your bag, and that's it. It gets automatically added to your bill. Come on! Yeah. <laughs> do you have smaller ones? Um, I do have these ones in a single, but okay. um, all of the little, little ones here. Well, that's fine.
When you find everything you need, you just leave. You just exit and that's it. So, here it is, here is my bill. Let's see what's happening inside. Just as expected. And if for any reason I think, like, this is wrong, I can request a refund or send a feedback. How much time you spent in the shop? Six minutes, 47 seconds. And this is like, I let deliberately did a lot of stuff to check how the system is working. So this is it. What kind of souvenir are you gonna bring? A lot of the stuff is like already in UK and you can just go and buy it. What are you going to choose? So I actually need a new pair of shoes. I got myself these. These are like designed in California, so this is like a perfect souvenir. So I bought a pair of red vans, very nice. But at the same time, I wanted something less loud, and this is it. Very nice. What kind of souvenirs do I have in here? Let's see. This one is simple. Just some newspapers for my dad. He's into reading newspapers from foreign countries, foreign places. So I have Seattle Times and Wall Street Journal. Very nice bag. One goes starry night, but in Seattle because you have Space Needle here. <laughs> and there's like a science, science park. Art Deco postcards. You see what it is? So these are playing cards. I don't play cards a lot, but these are nice. And they have like, they are plastic. Very pretty fridge magnet, which is, yeah, and this, so this is kind of unique souvenir. <laughs> Open it. Okay. Have our place I have no idea. Under Pike Place Market, there is an alley which will get you screaming if you're a germophobe. One of the most disgusting tourist attractions ever, the gum wall. This is one of the craziest collective efforts I ever saw. It began over 25 years ago when people from nearby theater started sticking gum to the walls there. At first, theater workers tried to clean it up, but stopped after market officials recognized the wall as a popular place of interest. Oh yes, as if it wasn't enough going on during my short stay in Seattle, SakuraCon was happening in the city. Streets were filled with cosplayers dressed as characters from popular anime movies and mangas. This concludes my mini-series on Seattle business trip. In next video, we'll get back to the technical IT stuff. Do leave a comment and click the bell icon if you enjoyed. Cheers! <laughs>